Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, thank you for coming. I'll just start with some, some introductions, just so that um, uh, you know who everyone is. Um, as you, I think, believe you all have my name already. Uh, to my far right is Sergeant, uh, Detective Sergeant Arthur Glassford, uh, who is also working on, on the inquiry we're about to speak of. And to my immediate right is Mrs. Michelle Walker, who is the mother of Mr. Kimwande Walker. Um, who was tragically murdered on the 2nd of April this year at the Victor Scott uh, School Field. Um, and that actually takes us to, to why we're here today. Um, all of us will remember the particularly brutal um, murder that occurred on, on Victor Scott School Field uh, on Good Friday, uh, which is traditionally a, a public and religious holiday in Bermuda where people come together to celebrate family, friends, and obviously the, the religious aspects of, of that event. Two men on a motorcycle rode onto Victor Scott Field and targeted Mr. Walker uh, of Pembroke Parish, shooting him a, a total of seven times while he was at this Good Friday fun day. Good Friday was a clear, sunny day, and there was nothing obvious in place to obstruct the views of the approximately 30 to 60 people uh, that were present on the field that day. He was present with his nine-year-old son and four-year-old daughter who had the horrific experience of watching their father murdered in front of their eyes. The other members of his immediate and extended family have also had to come to terms with his brutal death that occurred in front of so many people on what was a religiously symbolic day, an event where families had come together to celebrate this long-standing tradition. Uh, but today is not about me, albeit we will field some questions uh, later on the investigation. Mrs. Walker is actually here because we, we want her to try and help us to get people to come forward and to speak about her son and to perhaps put a bit of a human face on, uh, on, on Mr. Walker. So with that, um, I'd like to hand over to Mrs. Walker, who bravely is, is, is going to speak to you today, but she will, not be, she will not be taking any questions. Okay, so thank you, Mrs. Walker. Okay. Yes, please. Um, on Good Friday, 2010, my whole world went dark. While I was at home preparing fish cakes for my son to collect, he was at Victor Scott School Field, a public place, a place where families have for generations gathered to celebrate this most holy day. One moment he was frolicking with his children, teaching them to fly kites and gener generally enjoying his time with them. The next moment, he was running for his life as he was being chased by persons with a gun determined to end his life. And this they did, while his children watched in horror. I had searched my mind and my heart and I cannot think of anything, not anything that anyone could do to deserve this. I cared him, I nurtured him, I loved with him, I cried with him, I gave him life, and in one hateful moment, they took it all away. Words cannot describe the devastation pain that a mother feels when her child leaves this world before her. It is nothing that you can do to pre prepare for such a thing. It goes, without, it goes against the natural order of things. You are left with a void so large and so deep that nothing can fill it. His children will never see their father again. They will forever have the memory of seeing him shut down like an animal in their hearts and their minds to see the pain on their faces breaks what's left of my heart. I can't see what killing my son has accomplished besides bringing pain to everyone who knew and loved him. I can honestly tell you that it is only by the grace of God that I am standing here today. My question is, where does this end? How long before we say enough is enough? This has got to stop. As a community, we have to come together. We have to talk. We have to be our brother's keeper. In Bermuda, this is so-called not snitching 
has taken over a life of its own. It has infiltrated our lives and has become the, become the norm. There is somewhere, someone somewhere who knows who killed my son. Please speak up. You don't have to identify yourself in these times that we are living in. We don't expect you to speak up all the mothers who have lost their sons to gun violence. Speak up for all the children who are left without fathers. Speak up for all the sisters and brothers and aunties and uncles who have lost someone dear to them. Speak up for all the families who are still reeling from the devastation. If this can happen to me, then surely you, then surely you must know that, that, that it could happen just as easily to you. Let's take a step today to end the gun violence right here and right now. Speak up just because it is the right thing to do. As I lead you, as we go about our lives from day to day, I pray that God protects us and guide us, and we try to heal as a community and as a people. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Beth.